Hi, good morning. My name's Andrew Hemming. I'm the Customer Support Manager here at Tex Local. Um, thanks for joining us on today's webinar, um, Building Your Campaigns Ready for Christmas. During the next 20 minutes, we'll be walking you through some best practices in terms of use cases leading up to Black Friday and Christmas. We won't necessarily be covering off the how-to. As existing customers, we'd anticipate you've probably already got a sound understanding of how to navigate around the platform and aware of certain functionality within the system. Today is more so the why um, and, as I say, how you could best utilize our platform uh, to engage with a, with a customer base. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to start by showing you um, and sharing some ideas on how to build a database in anticipation of Black Friday and Christmas. So I'm going to take you straight through to uh, an inbox service which is called Keyword Shortcode. So in, in simple terms what this is, it's a word referable to the business or the campaign on a short number. So the first concept there is that, that, that it's memorable. You're more likely to remember that than you would uh, a, a long number, uh, especially if you see in that at a glance. What you would generally do then to encourage people to text in is, um, is attach some sort of offer or promotion to it. So that might look like text in for a discount, text in to enter. And ultimately, if that incentive to text in is, is good, um, the, and, and you advertise that in channels where your target audience are most likely to see it, so that would encompass things like social media, direct mail, um, you know, advertisements on, on cars, billboards, so on and so forth. The more people that see that, the more people that will text in. What we can then do once the text is received is we can set up auto replies so that once uh, the customers text, they will receive within three seconds a text with their voucher code to quote at the point of sale for the discount, or a simple message saying, you know, thanks for entering, winner will be announced shortly. The whole concept behind this inbox, however, is not necessarily to manage offers and promotions, but ultimately once people text in, their details are recorded. So the idea being, over time, you're organically going to grow an opted-in database. So our thought process behind sort of managing Black Friday and, and Christmas together would be almost running some sort of keyword or, or shortcode uh, campaign in the in the lead up to Black Friday, just to make customers aware of certain offers and promotions that, that you may have running. This will then in turn build your database in anticipation of Christmas campaigns. So ultimately, the majority of people on today's webinar will already have a list of data, so that's great. So you'll already be able to start interacting with, with that database um, for Black Friday and, and Christmas. But any business of any size would have aspirations to grow. So what we're saying here is, you know, clearly now in the lead up to Christmas, it's, it's very competitive in, in your space, I'm sure, it, you know, in your local towns, cities, um, possibly even internationally. Um, so it's always always good to pinch um, customers from, from your competitors and a keyword would be a viable way of doing that. I think traditionally um, businesses, businesses and organizations have perhaps gone and sourced data through a data agency. I think that process is quite flawed in that uh, the data you source isn't necessarily your target audience. Um, the data is quite expensive and arguably when you interact with that data it could be considered as spam because these people don't necessarily have an interest in your business. So what we've found in the past is that the return for investment on purchasing that data is normally quite low, whereas obviously the keyword shortcode process, um, okay, it might be a little bit slower to build the data than it would to instantly just go and source you know, 500 records or so on, but ultimately these people have opted in off their own free will based off an advertisement that they've seen um, through your business. Um, they've now got an interest in the business, um, so in theory when you choose to reuse that data around Christmas time, these people will, will ha be open and receptive to the, any content that you've served them. Now I've set up a demo for today which is webinar on 60777. I'm just going to take you through the settings of the inbox itself. Um, so I talked briefly before about being able to set up an auto response. So in here, we can uh, free type the message 
referable to what the campaign might look like and as I say that could just be simply quoting a, uh, a code that they can quote for the, uh, for the discounts or as I say it could be some sort of call to action whereby there's some sort of um, rich content that you may be serving them up where they can click a link to view a, a PDF of your Christmas brochure um, all of the offers and promotions that you might have um, for Black Friday um, and ultimately it's, it's, it's a great way of interacting with that inbound message without any manual intervention from yourself and as I say it's just a, a, a box here where you can free type the message in there and as you can see you can drop in um, links and, and attachments if needs be. Um, for those that want to take part, uh, today's a live demonstration so if you could um, get your handsets ready, um, open up a new message and uh, in the new message at the top where the number goes, if you just type the, the number 60777, so that's 60777. My um, word to text into is, is webinar, so that's W-E-B-I-N-A-R. So just to confirm, that's W-E-B-I-N-A-R. So 60777, and then text the word webinar, and hit the send button. Um, what you're going to get back is a simple message. Um, within there, there's going to be an interactive link where you can um, click through to sort of watch some videos and, and download some brochures on the service. But more importantly, there's an exclusive white paper on there that we've literally just launched. So if any, anybody texting in, you will actually be one of the first to see this. Um, and in there, it's just going to showcase some best practices with regards to... Um, uh, obviously the lead up to Black Friday and Christmas and probably just going to reaffirm the content for today's webinar in any case um, so you've got something there to always refer back to so I'd certainly advise uh, texting in to receive that white paper and there's some really useful content in there that we think that will, you know, you'll find very very useful in the lead up to Christmas so that's the first um, bits and pieces that I wanted to come up, cover off which is obviously building a database so you've now got that database, you, you, you're kind of ready to go. So ultimately you're now looking to send a text message to customers. So what types of content could you serve up to your customers? So obviously the, the, the most obvious um, way of communicating with customers is, is your offers and your promotions. And we'll cover off some best practices there in a quick second with regard to some of the, 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 con the additional features or functionality that you can use in our system. But I'm just going to look at, at thinking outside the box a little bit in terms of customer service type messages that you could use, uh, as well as some tactical um, pieces utilizing um, some sort of computer integration through what's called a, an API. So typically what we've found sort of from our past experience from sort of 12 months ago and, and beyond is that um, you know you could use our SMS service for for delivery information. So if we look at maybe Amazon, I'm sure we've all on this webinar ordered from Amazon in the past. Traditionally, products will make payment and normally within a day or two we'll receive a text message from Amazon confirming that our delivery driver will be with us between a specific date and time. Now that hasn't necessarily been somebody physically sending that text message themselves from a manual perspective what typically might have happened there is that the Amazon might have inter, uh, integrated their CRM system with uh, with our, our platform through something that's called an API. So in simple terms, that stands for Application Program Interface, and it's integrating our system with another to enable an automatic process. I'm sure we've all received these types of text messages in the past, whether it be that Amazon example, right through to something like a doctor's uh, appointment or dentist appointment reminder, um, or even a you know a service car service or MMT reminder. Ultimately, they aren't somebody manually sending texts. As I say, it, it is all automated through that integration. So for anybody on today's call that's looking to perhaps use the service more as a as a customer service tool, certainly from a delivery point of view, leading up to Black Friday and Christmas, that would work very very well. Gives your customer sight of when the the product will be delivered. Um, but also if you could flip that to not just delivery information, also misdelivery information. Naturally, um, you would hope, as you've already confirmed what day and time the, the product will be delivered, that uh, the customer will make um, provisions to be, uh, to be at their home address or work address for those dates and times. 
but as we all know, sometimes that process breaks down for whatever reason. So you could use the system to say, actually, we've tried to deliver this parcel today and you weren't there. Um, please make contact with us to arrange a delivery. Or it could just be as simple as we'll try again tomorrow. But again, from a customer service aspect, it's keeping the customer in the loop with regards where their product is at any given time and helps build those relations long term. Another option that you could look at doing is, is the click and collect. Again, you know, the, the Argos model um, and so on. We to save on delivery costs. Um, again, we might choose to have a, a click and collect option as a customer. So on that basis, once the product's in uh, and in store, ready to collect, why not text the customer and tell them? Again, another great customer service tool, uh, and again, helping you build sort of long-term relationships and uh, and repeat custom outside of Christmas, of course. Um, and ultimately, on that click and collect model, again, you could also just look at using the service as an order confirmation tool. So thanks for placing your order. Um, you know, we'll be in touch soon with regards to the delivery. So it's that complete sales cycle, isn't it? It's about obviously showcasing the products and service um, as, as, a, as a marketing solution. Um, once you've, you've captured that customer um, and you've got that commitment to place the order, it's, it's sending them a text to, to confirm that order. It's then sending them a text to tell them what time the product will be delivered. And if, obviously if they're not there, to take the delivery, it might be a, um, a, a text to say, actually, sorry, we missed you. We'll be in touch over the next day or so to rearrange. So that's the customer service aspect in terms of how you might look to use the service um, over the sort of festive and Black Friday period. Um, what you might also look to do from a tactical marketing piece over and above your day-to-day -day marketing, which is, is kind of a given, is you might look at using the service for uh, abandoned baskets. So if you're an online retailer, let's say, or you have some sort of online presence, um, naturally we've all been there, I'm sure, where we might just be, I guess, window shopping, let's say. Um, but online, we might be putting bits and pieces in, in our baskets. And for whatever reason, um, we, we decide to abandon that basket um, and, and leave it there. Now obviously that person or that customer had an interest to put that product into the basket in the first place, so why not interact with them about it? Let's serve them up some more content, maybe relating to that product or service. That, that might be the catalyst behind getting them to go ahead and place that order. So again, that could be used through the sort of API integration. Again, there could be some sort of footprint or cookie left um, on, on specific pages or, or sites and uh, we can pick that up and, uh, and serve up some content relevant to the products and service they were looking at. And Maybe if you were a little bit more strategic, what you could do is maybe attach some sort of offer. You know, they were looking at the product um, at, at X price, uh, obviously they didn't order, that could have been down to, to price, so you could serve some content that says, you know, order by the close of the class today and we'll give you some form of discount, 10, 20 percent, etc. These are all ways and means of, of just boosting your your campaigns over the over the Christmas period, and ultimately getting the uh, the our return on investment that, that you would crave. So there's some uh, additional ideas that you would perhaps use the service over and above the, the the standard sort of offers and promotions text that I'm sure you're all familiar with using as existing customers. On the offers and promotions side of things, I am just going to elaborate a little bit further now in terms of some specific content um, on the platform that you're able to use at no extra cost and, uh, and will really help the way in which you interact with, with your customer database. So I'm just going to refer to the right hand side of the screen now um, where you would normally prepare the text message. Now in the bottom left hand corner you'll notice a series of icons. Each of these icons represent the additional features or functionalities that I've just been referring to. I'm just going to talk you through each one now and give you some examples in terms of how you might use that over the, uh, over the, the, the sort of festive period. So the first I don't really need to go into too much depth with because you use it every single day on email and we've replicated that same technology. Um, so the ability to attach a document to a text message. In simple terms, what you would do is you would load that document into our platform where it's hosted on our server and then converted into a link. 
what you could now do at some point within the message content is attach anything in there from an image or a video through to a PDF or Word document. So where this might be really, really useful um, in, in, in using uh, for campaigns over Christmas would be simply attaching some sort of brochure, um, newsletter, um, a, a, a specific campaign, let's say. There could be some sort of either supporting evidence or even just something visual as opposed to going out and, and picking up the expense with regards to direct mail which arguably isn't very effective these days. Um, certainly from a, a return uh, on investment piece, you normally find it's quite low, typically a 5% response rate, uh, whereas text is, is 32%. So what you could do is rather than is producing those direct mail pieces is attach that visual onto a text message so the customer can click the link and instantly see sight of um, that campaign. And that can work really, really well. The file size is 10 meg, so it's pretty chunky, um, and I'm sure you'll find that uh, that useful. And um, also, it's a great character save. We've all been there again, I'm sure, when using the platform. That uh, sometimes it's almost impossible to reduce the content down to 160 characters. So on that basis, what you could do is use the attachment tool to get around that 160 character rule. So it's not doubling the cost; it's keeping it to one credit per message. And that might just look like something, uh, very basic text, hi Mr. Customer, please click this link to view our, our great Christmas offers. You click that link and it opens everything up um, and ultimately that's been sent as one text um, and uh, you know is, is going to be a lot more effective as well because the link itself will also have reporting statistics on there. So ultimately you might send a, a text to let's say 100 people for argument's sake. Um, ultimately Following that text send, let's say you know it hasn't gone to plan, the response rate's been quite low. So in theory, what you might have to do is is sort of retext that whole database, which clearly isn't going to be a best practice because it's a waste of time, effort, and money. They weren't necessarily interested the first time round. Why would they be the second? So you could use those reports actually to focus and retarget the interested parties. Arguably, people only click links if they're interested in the message. So why not post send? pull a quick report from the system, I've just sent 100 texts, 20 people click my link, you could then track those 20 numbers because the system reports back the numbers and the device type also, you could track those numbers back with your sort of ordering system and clearly for the ones that have ordered you wouldn't then need to retarget, but for the ones that clicked and didn't order, what you could do is you could serve them something else up, maybe there's a, a second strategic text with a further offer or promotion on and that might be the catalyst to get them to order. Or you could take the approach that actually um, I'm just going to give these customers a call. It's not a traditional cold calling process. I appreciate you might need the, uh, the resource to be able to do that, but ultimately they've already been warmed up through a text message. Um, you've now got their details. Why not give them a call and, and see if you could sort of use individual personalities and sales skill set to convert. So that's the attachment tool. You've then got the mobile web page feature which is kind of trumped by the attachment tool these days. The mobile web page feature is long-standing functionality and in simple terms it's creating a landing page that's specific to the outbound text message, so again something visual uh, whereby a customer can click a link and instantly see sight of um, you know, what that offer or promotion might look like. So again, just think some visual um, and it's created in our system here under the mobile web page section. Um, you can get as creative as you like there uh, it works very much like paint on your desktop uh, if you've used that before. And once you've built that page, again, it's just included here. The next functionality you could use is the short link feature, the most basic link that you can use through our system. And ultimately, this is literally just a, a reference point to a, a home page on a website or, or a particular landing page. Um, and then you've got my favorite piece of functionality, which is the survey tool. Yeah, it does what he says on the tin, so it's not necessarily something you would use for Black Friday or, or, or Christmas in terms of a physical campaign. That might be more so sort of after Christmas with regards sort of trying to improve customer relations, sort of how did you find the, the, the sales process, uh, the product, the service, and so on. So yeah, in its own right, the survey tool would, would be great to sort of manage those campaigns post-Christmas. But where I see you using the service leading up to, 
would be that this service actually doubles up as a data capture service. So the ability to create an interactive form that would allow customer participation, let's say, directly through that text message. So it could be um, a way of customers leaving, uh, filling out a form to say that they're interested in a product or a service, or they would require a callback, they want to uh, create an appointment for this date or time, um, and ultimately, again, like the mobile web page, it's got its own section here where you would build that form out, and ultimately it's then converted into a link. You send that message out, the customer clicks that link, fills out the information that you've created on that form, and hits the submit button back, where that then comes through to you to be able to export that report into an Excel spreadsheet to manipulate and report on uh, very easily. So that's the survey tool. So as I say, don't just think surveys, think data capture or, or anything form related. And then finally, which will come in really, really handy for the, for the festive and Black Friday period, would be the vouchers and ticket service. So we talked about that sort of inbound keyword service where people could text in for, for an offer code, let's say. Now that offer code on that service could be quite generic, i.e. everybody can benefit from that offer. And clearly, you're not necessarily too bothered about that individual passing on to friends and family, because as far as you're concerned, the more the, the more the merrier in terms of taking that offer on. However, what you might look to do um, is, you know, you might have long-standing customers that you would like to reward for their sort of long-standing custom and loyalty. So on that basis, what you can do is you can generate again in its own section here at the top under the vouchers and ticketing system you can generate unique IDs per, per record, let's say. And that unique ID is only relevant to that individual customer. So you can create one-time tickets. Now, they could be physical tickets for entry. So I know we've got you know, various um, sector representations today from sort of retail to sort of health and fitness, right through to sort of pubs and clubs and so on. So on that basis, that could be applied to anything from a physical ticket to entry. So it might be a, you know, a Christmas party um, or, or um, I don't know, some sort of festive band, etc., or events. That could be a physical ticket to that person for entry. So they've made the purchase. Um, that's, that's now their ticket that, that, that would be scanned um, on entry. Or it could just be a one-time physical voucher for discount. So show this um, unique code to get your 10% discount uh, over Christmas. Likewise, on the health and fitness example, that could be, you know, and I, I know sort of you'd probably get some sort of mini rush around the New Year period for New Year's resolutions, etc. That could be, I know you might give away a three weeks pass or trial. Um, again, that could be show this to get your, you know, your, your free offer. So that's one-time ticket redemption. And as I said, it's physical entry or physical promotion and it also because of the unique identifier stops said customers passing that on to friends and family once it's redeemed it's been redeemed you've then got the loyalty side of that so if we think uh, best example to give you might be the, the cost of coffee example in past times we've uh, we've had a physical membership card let's say that's, uh, that's stored in our wallet or purses and ultimately um, we will then uh, have a stamp each time we make a purchase and on the X time we'll, we'll get a, a, free, a free item or coffee in the example I'm just giving you. So on, on this basis what you could do is physically replace that, um, that loyalty card and have a, that stored on the passport or pass, pass wallet of your, on your handset. So to encourage repeat business in, in the lead up uh, essentially, you could set some parameters in the system to say, okay, uh, on, after this many purchases, I want the system to recognize that they've, they've met that criteria and send them out the offer uh, according to whatever the prom promotion um, might relate to. So, uh, as I say, on, on that basis, very, very, very useful to, uh, to reward uh, loyalty and, and, again, repeat business. So each and every one of those functionalities um, are, are free to use. They're designed purposely to obviously enhance our offering to you as our customer, but in a live scenario, you use those functionality to achieve better response rates and, and boost your return on your investment over, over Christmas. Um, so I have a, a pre-prepared text message here that I can send out to everybody that um, took part in the inbound service, because naturally now, as we've discussed, I've, um, I've captured the data. So 
what we'll now do is we'll send that text message and as you'd expect you guys already use our service you'll know that you'll get that within three to five seconds and more importantly what you'll now be able to do is is click and interact with those links again it's just serving up just something generic but again it's just the, uh, the, the um, brochure downloads uh, and, and the YouTube videos but it's just to give you an idea of, of obviously how easy that is from a customer perspective to interact with and then post send now what we're able to do is come into the reporting section look into the short links and here this is all of the links that I've used before in previous demonstrations so I'm just going to use the one with the most hits on what we'll see is the link that we've used the amount of click-throughs that we've had if we now view the stats what we're going to get is a plotted line graph of who's clicked and when they've clicked so we can target in sequential order um, we're also going to get a breakdown of the device type and the screen resolution I'm often asked why that information is useful and my answer to that is that ultimately um, it's helping you profile your customer database so if you knew that the majority of people had an iPhone versus a Samsung you could create vouchers and tickets, data capture forms and so on to suit those types of handsets um, and also it's suggesting that if you are getting a high click through rate your client base like interacting that way so in future campaigns use more and more links where possible sadly I can't take you through to the next screen just due to data protection but if I was to export that information to a CSV what it does is create a ready-made sales sheet let's say whereby um, you could then obviously manipulate that data to follow up so that could be a second text send to the people that have clicked as we said earlier or it could be phone calls if you've got the time and resource to do so but we'd certainly advise using those links and certainly pulling those reports because some research and some statistics that we found in the past is that 50 percent of people that you interact with that are interested won't go on to make contact or purchase which is a, a very high stat so by utilizing these reports that we give you in theory you, you know you shouldn't get that 50 percent drop-off rate because you can act and act quickly uh, on the people that, uh, that are interested. So that kind of concludes what I wanted to discuss today. As I said, I have not really gone into too much depth in terms of the, the how because I was uh, anticipating that the majority um, are, are already using our system. Um, if anybody uh, that you know on this, today's webinar doesn't have necessarily a great understanding of the platform I'm quite happy for anybody to make contact with me individually I can always give you a, a deeper dive into the, the, the how we can show you how to create contact groups send text messages that's not a problem likewise for the for the existing customers on today's webinar if you would like a one-to-one -one session in terms of some specific examples and best practices relevant to your business and, and, and individual sector again quite happy to spend that time with you um, and, and do that. I'm contactable. Uh, we're in sort of Monday to Friday, half eight till five. Um, my direct dial is 01244 So that number again is 01244 Equally, I'm available on email. My email's andy.hemming. So that's a n d y dot hemming, which is h e m for mother i n g at textlocal.com. So feel free to contact me on either phone or email. Um, I have got time for a couple of questions. I'm mindful that uh, we're pretty much coming up to the sort of half an hour I promised that we would uh, conclude this webinar in. Um, but the majority of the questions are focusing around those links and attachments. There seems to be quite a, a, an interest and an appetite to, uh, to utilize those within outbound text messages. And there's some questions there relating to sort of the, the, the cost of those but also um, are they taking up character space um, within the 160 that we, we talked as a standard text. So absolutely, um, first and foremost, the, the, the functionality is free to use, so those links and attachments aren't going to add any weight to the cost of the service, so feel free to use as many of those links in, in the content. The link itself will take up characters. Um, so if I can just give you a really quick example, on a blank message. So as you can see there our character count is zero. If I just go in to put a, I don't know, a very basic uh, short link in let's say um, if we just use uh, the text local example insert the link as you can see there that's used 33 characters of our 160. So as we said before you can go over the 160 
but obviously it will send it as one message but it will charge it at two credits, three credits and so on. So the idea is you want to send the text as effective as possible um, but for as low, as low cost as possible so it maximizes your ROI. So what I would advise is you've got the attachment tool to get around the 160 character rule. Um, if you can't keep the content to 160, put that same content onto a Word document and send a very basic one-line message to a customer saying, you know, click the link for our Christmas offers. Um, it's been sent now in 160 and the customer still, still sees sight of that, uh, that same content. Um, so that pretty much concludes um, today's webinar. I just want to thank everybody for joining us. Um, as I said before, feel free to contact me individually if you'd like some further best practice or guidance. And I hope everybody has a, a great weekend. Thanks again for joining us.